Welcome, I'm Paolo, and in this quick demo, I'd like to show you how to create record types in Salesforce. But first, what are record types? The best way to explain record types is using an example. So here it is. Imagine you have a closet full of clothes. You have t-shirts, jackets, pants, and shoes. While they're all clothes, you wear them at different occasions, like going to the gym or attending a business meeting or going out to dinner. In Salesforce, think of record types as these different occasions that dictate what kind of clothes or fields you're going to wear or use. Let me show you another example using the features we've already created in my previous videos. So here we are in Salesforce, and this is a custom object I created with you on one of my previous videos called Recipes. This object is supposed to capture all of our cooking recipes. What I want to do now is I want to create some record types for this custom object. The use case for this is before creating a new recipe record in the system, I want to be able to select what type of meal that recipe is for, whether it's for breakfast, lunch, dinner, or maybe it's just a snack. Now, before we create the record types, I want to create a pick list field with all kinds of different values about the types of meals that will be available. Then I'll be able to allocate each value to different record types. I'd also want to be making different page layouts so that I can assign to the different record types we'll have. So let's get started. The first thing I want to do is click on the cogwheel and click on edit object. Here, I want to create my pick list field first. So I'll go to fields and relationships and click new. Then I'll select pick list and click next. Now I'll give it a label type of meal. And now I want to add all of the available values. So here are my values. As you can see, we have all kinds of different types of meals here. So I'll go ahead and click next. I'll make it visible to everybody and I'll click next again. And I won't add it to any of the page layouts just yet. And then I'll click save. The next thing I want to do is create some page layouts. So I'm going to go to page layouts. And now what I want to do is I want to create a new page layout. I want to copy the template for an existing one. And here I'll give this a name. So I'll call this one breakfast and I'll click save. Now I want to go back to page layouts again and I want to click new and I'll create a few more. I'm going to copy all of them from the recipe layout. So we've got breakfast. Now we've got lunch. We'll do another one for dinner. And then we'll do one more for snacks. Okay. Now we're ready to create some record types. So on the left hand side, I'll go ahead and click record types and then I'll click new. So the first record type is going to be called breakfast. I can add a description if I want to. And if I scroll down, you see that I'll make it available to everybody. But because this is the first record type we're creating, this is going to be the default one. So I'll go ahead and click next. And then here I'm able to select the page layout that I want to correspond to this record type. So because we have already created our page layouts, I can select breakfast and then click save. Now I want to create some more. So before I start making any changes to this record type, I'm just going to create all the ones that I need. So I need one for lunch. So I'll go ahead and do that. Activate, make it available to everybody and then click next. And again, here, I want to make sure that I'm selecting my lunch page layout and then hit save and new. Now we want one for dinner. So dinner, activate, make it available to everybody. I'll hit next. And again, I'll make sure I'm selecting my dinner page layout. Save and new, one more to go. We'll create one for snacks now. Cool, now we've got all of our record types. The next thing I wanna do is I wanna go into a record type. So I'll start with breakfast 
Then I want to select the type of new pick list field that we've created. I want to click edit. And then here I want to change the available values. So I want to remove the ones that I don't want to show. So because this is breakfast, I only want to show pancakes and omelets. So I'll remove everything else and then I'll hit save. Now I'll do the same for the other record types. So lunch is next. I'll click edit. I don't want the breakfast values and I just want sandwiches and salads. Then I'll hit save. Next is dinner. So I'll do the same here. I'll remove the breakfast sandwiches and salads. I'll remove that and energy bars and finger foods. And then lastly, I want to do this for snacks. So I'll click edit and I'll just leave the last two and then I'll hit save. Okay. Now we should be good to go. What we want to do next, we want to go to page layouts. And for each of these page layouts, we want to add the custom field that we've created. So here's the type of new field. I want to drag and drop this field here. And because we have different page layouts for different record types, you can have this field at different locations, depending on the record type that you're using, if that's something that you'd like to do. In case you're wondering why I didn't use one page layout for all the record types, if I'm just going to have everything in the same place, the reason for that is because I'm having this field in the same place, but then I might want to have different page layouts in the future. Okay, so let's have a look on the front end. If we go to the front end and hit refresh, now if I try to create a new record, you see that I have different record types available to select here. So if I want to make a breakfast recipe, I'll click next. And then on the type of meal, as you can see, we only have the types of meal that corresponds to breakfast. So if I go out of this and click new again, and I select dinner, I can hit next again. And then the type of meal will only show me dinner types of meal. Now, one thing that I have noticed, however, is that when I click new, this is in the wrong order. What I really wanted to say is breakfast, lunch, dinner, and then snacks. This has always been a problem with Salesforce because record types are always sorted in alphabetical order. One thing you can do is use numbers in front of the letters so that you can say one is breakfast, two is lunch, three is dinner, and then four is snack. And that way they will be in the order of one, two, three, four. Another thing that you can do is use A, B, C, D in front of the actual name of the record type. So A space breakfast, B space lunch, and so on and so on. Well, now you know how to create record types. Remember, depending what object you're creating record types for, you might need to set up a sales process first in order to create your record type. If you'd like to learn more about sales processes, let me know in the comments below. Hope this was helpful. Until next time.